A back to school is just around the corner. Today was the first official move in day at Gonzaga University. The requirement for first and second year students to live on campus was waived this year. Still, many decided to go with the full college experience. Good evening. I'm Aaron Luna and I'm Nia Wong. Today's move in day looked a little different from before. Katarina Krasoff has explains how faculty members are trying to keep students safe during it all. Well, as you can see, campus isn't as busy as it typically is during move-in day. Not very many students here. I'm told that they're trying to space out students as often as possible. It's all in an effort to keep everybody safe. A lot of stuff in here. Move-in day. You got that okay? An exciting time for college students across the nation. Well, I was getting, like, really anxious. I was like, this, there's no way this is all going to fit in my dorm. Like, there's literally no way. Stephanie McLaren is starting her freshman year at Gonzaga University. She'll be living in the same building her brother did when he was in school. Uh, when I was a kid, the dorms look a lot bigger than they do now, so. <laughs> that's not the only thing that's different. I was definitely expecting like a ton of people, like long lines. This year, move-in day is a lot quieter than usual. Almost doesn't feel like move-in day. It's like we're moving in all by ourselves. That's because staff members are trying to help parents and students feel at ease. We know that COVID is, is here. It's in our community. Obviously, it's across the country and the world. Instead of having everyone move in all at once, they decided to space move in time over the course of a few days. They have a scheduled time and they get to come and stop at all of the stations. From hand sanitizing stations to free voluntary COVID-19 testing stations. We are trying to keep our students safe and healthy uh, to the best of our ability. It's all in an effort to protect students while providing them with the best experience possible. We're talking to students uh, uh, a lot about how they can interact with one another socially without being in, in a space where maybe it would be less safe uh, for them. While it may not be ideal, Stephanie is determined to start school on a positive note. She hopes others will do the same. You know, this has shown us that you'll never know what's going to happen, so you have to take full advantage of where you are now instead of waiting for future events. Nearly 2,000 students are expected to live on campus this semester. I'm told that's 700 fewer than last year. Erin Nia.